How to choose the best online course. What are the qualities of a good online course? Online education is growing in popularity. This is because it is convenient and relatively cheaper hence there are many students willing to invest in the best online course platforms of their choice. But with so many colleges offering these services, who can you trust? The tips below on how to choose the best online course can help you decide since they show you the qualities to look out for. 1. A platform that aligns with your purpose. To understand which course to select, begin by analyzing what you aim to achieve. You could be looking to enhance your career skills, gain a professional certification in a particular course, or simply as a hobby. Based on your reason, you will be able to identify how to choose the best online course. 2. Positive reviews, reputation, and affiliation. Thousands of colleges across the globe now offer online education, but the quality of services differs. In your search, you will come across reputable institutions plus newer ones you are not familiar with, so it is important to look through many reviews and assess the value you will acquire from that particular institution. As such, you should peruse boards that offer reviews to help you make a decision. 3. Experienced instructors. An instructor is integral to the success of one's education since they guide students to understand these concepts. The issue is that their teaching skills and methodologies may differ, leading to varying results. Some teachers are more skilled at their job and pleasant, so students need to be aware of which instructor handles which course to help them decide. 4. High-quality curriculum, online courses differ with regard to the modules covered and the level of specialization. For this reason, a student wondering how to choose the best online course should choose the most detailed course that explores the subject in detail. This is especially useful for technical courses such as computer programming, which value practical skills and expertise. 5. A reasonable time frame, online courses can be covered over varying durations. Some may take months or years, while others are covered in mere weeks or days. This is due to the level of content coverage, which may be comprehensive or otherwise. It also depends on the nature of the course. For example, a diploma in counseling may take a few months, while a degree or postgraduate course may require years to complete. As such, you need to assess how much time you can dedicate to the course. 6. Affordable pricing. For most students, this is among the top factors they assess. While most online courses are relatively cheaper, they differ depending on the institution that offers them. For example, a course from Harvard is more expensive than one from a small local college. However, avoid being cheap as it can affect your access to quality education and limit you from accessing certain opportunities in the future. 7. The availability of supporting services, unlike physical learning, students' only form of contact is digital. While computers make it possible to access content, a student may still face many challenges, such as failure to access course content. Since the learner is not available physically to express any concerns they may have, it can be difficult for students to get help if the school lacks a proper learning management system, or LMS as well as a student support line. However, an LMS is also useful for students to submit assignments, take online exams, access recordings, discuss with peers, and much more, hence your institution of choice should have this feature for its online courses. 8. Whether certification is offered, certification is very important for a learner. It proves that one has acquired the relevant skills of the course, thus allowing one to access employment or business opportunities. However, not all courses offer certificates after completion, hence you need to check for this feature before paying for a course. It is also preferable for a student to get a certificate from a reputable institution like Harvard that will help them stand out. When selecting an online course, you will come across these main types, one, hybrid, one where you can learn both in person or online, depending on your preferences, two, interactive asynchronous, where students and the instructor connect on video sharing platforms like Zoom and Learn, three, boot camps, these are short and quick courses that are common for IT, four, text-based, students can read the text and take assessments to gauge their skills. Since most people signing up for online courses are those looking to advance themselves, there are observable trends that follow what is most popular globally. For example, most people nowadays will opt for the following courses, 1. Computer Science. 2. Data Science. 3. Social Media Marketing. 4. Graphic Design. 5. Artificial Intelligence. 6. 
Machine Learning, 7. Animation, 8. Foreign Languages, E, G German, 9. Cybersecurity, 10. Business Administration, 11. Software Engineering, this is because these courses offer, 1. Better chances of employment, 2. Skills required for modern businesses growth, 3. Career advancement opportunities etc. As you can see, the popularity of these courses is influenced by technological advancement, global business patterns, and opportunities in certain niches. For this reason, this list may look very different in 5 to 10 years since employers may require expertise in different fields. What to consider before starting an online course, 1. Special needs, if you have any special needs that hinder you from handling the course with ease, be sure to notify the institution before you pay. This allows them to communicate whether they can make some adjustments for you. Most of these platforms will work with you, but it is important to communicate first. 2. Electricity and internet connectivity, for some students, infrastructure such as electricity and internet are difficult to come by probably due to the costs involved or maintenance issues. As such, this can impact their academics, and if you are one of these students, you need to plan ahead. If your home does not have these facilities, you can use a public library or other facilities which will grant you access. 3. Dealing with loneliness, handling a challenging course alone can take a toll. This is because you may lack assistance and encouragement from your peers, especially if you are separated across borders. As such, you may use video calling services to connect with your peers and study together, in addition to encouraging others. Experts also ascertain that cooperative learning aids in problem-solving enhance interpersonal skills and much more. 4. Time management skills, students need to balance their personal life and academics. It is for this reason that many should form a schedule to help them manage their time effectively. Otherwise, they run the risk of falling behind and failing the course. 5. Motivation, it is common for students to start off passionate and consistent, but this can wear off over time due to fatigue. As such, be sure to form a good schedule with adequate time for rest and relaxation. 6. Access to a good computer, while you may have a stable electricity and internet connection, you still need a computer with the right software to handle the course. Depending on the site settings, your computer may have to perform at a certain capability to access the content.